Hello everyone and welcome to the short video on how to locate your chapter bylaws. We're going to be accessing the chapter bylaws actually via the internet. So first of all, you actually need to be at a computer where you can access the internet. Obviously, if you're watching this video, chances are you're already at a uh, computer with internet access. The other disclaimer I want to throw out there is that you really should make sure it's a uh, a computer that has internet access that you have permission to use uh, for this reason. Uh, if you're unsure, don't use it. Just err on the safe side and be at a place where you know you have the right to be on the computer accessing this information. Uh, we don't want to set anyone up in a difficult situation, so make sure that it's at a location where you're free to use the internet. And let's go ahead and get started. So there's several ways that you can actually access the internet and it's through what a software that's called an internet browser and there's multiple internet browsers that are out there on the market today so we're just going to use internet explorer as our example because chances are that's the one that most people are familiar with so i'm going to go ahead over here and double click on internet explorer and that will open it up and you'll notice that it's defaulting to the home page, pscclassified.org. That's because I have my internet browser set up to have this as the default page. Yours may not, and that's okay. And the, the biggest thing that you'll have to worry about is actually the address bar. So when you get your internet browser open, make sure you locate your address bar, and what you'll want to do is actually type in the web address. Uh, and the web address for the home page is pseclassified.org. Now you do not have to type in the http colon slash slash or www dot. If you simply type in pseclassified.org it will come up. And I want to show you that actually. So we're going to go ahead and open up another internet browser and I'm going to go to the address bar again and I'm going to type in pse classified.org and hit enter and you'll see that it will route us right to the home page. There we are. So now that we're at the home page, how do we locate our ch contracts and chapter bylaws? This video is specifically uh, related to our bylaws, but our contracts are basically stored in the same location. So you, it's kind of a two for one bonus, this video. Uh, so what you'll do is over here on the right hand side of the web page, you'll see a group of links here. And if you'll see right where I'm hovering right now, it says contracts and bylaws. If you click right on that link, it will redirect you to the page where you'll find your chapter bylaws and contracts. When you get to this page, you'll notice that it is an alphabetical list. So it makes it really easy to locate your chapter bylaws and, and contract. So down the left-hand column, you actually see the contracts, and down the right-hand column, you'll see the bylaws. Let's just go ahead and look at uh, Aberdeen bylaws since it's the first one on the list. This is just an example. You would actually want to go to your specific bylaws because this is going to tell you what your expected job duties are as the secretary or any other officer uh, that's elected to the chapter. So when this opens up, it's actually in the format that's called a PDF, uh, which basically means it's easy to read. <laughs> you don't have to worry about different software to try to read it. Now your computer may not have a PDF reader on it, so you can actually go and download that software. It's a very small uh, amount of software and it's free and we love free. Uh, but basically once you have it downloaded and it would probably prompt you to download the software if you did not have it uh, And at the end of the video, I'll actually give you the web address where you can go to download it if you don't have it uh, But anyways, let's continue on so we're looking for the job description of the secretary in this particular video so let's see where that might be related here in the articles uh, I bet it's in Article 5, the Executive Board and Board of Trustees. So what I'm going to do is actually scroll down to Article 5 and try not to pass it here. One more.
article to go. Here we go, Article 5. And you'll see a specific section, Section 5.5 Duties. Uh, and you'll see there's the President, the Vice President, the Secretary, and that's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and read this section of the chapter bylaws and see what it says. Section 5.5.3, Secretary. The Secretary shall ensure that the minutes of general membership meetings and Board of Trustee meetings are duly recorded and a copy provided to the President for placement in the chapter files. It shall be the duty of the Secretary to keep all records of the chapter, the Board of Trustees, and to perform such other official functions as the President and Board of Trustees may direct. So that's it. In a nutshell, that's your job description as a secretary. Uh, the, the, the key thing that I need to stress here is actually that you go to your specific chapter bylaws. Not all, all bylaws are the same. Some may be different. Some chapters may have actually combined their secretary and treasurer into one position. So you may have slightly different job duties based on that second hat you have to wear in your chapter. So go ahead and make sure that you're looking at your specific chapter bylaws. And that basically wraps up this video. I hope this was very helpful and uh, good luck out there.